How are we gonna solve this problem? At first, let me explain the problem. It says these two are assumptions. We want to find this. It is PMO problem, x cubed minus y cubed. But we want to solve a little harder problem, x5 minus y5. And also for yourself, you can find x to the odd minus y to the odd, for example, like 7. And comment below this video. It is PMO Philippine Mathematical Olympia 21st, 2018 qualifying stage or round 1. For solving this problem, this problem, the, this video has three parts. The first part, introduction. The second part, the basic identities you need for solving this problem. If you know basic identities, you can go straight forward to solution. You can use chapters or time codes in the description. So let's solve this problem. Before solving the problem, thanks for subscribing, turning on notification, and like my videos. The first identity and basic identity, you need a plus b squared, which equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now let's prove it. It is a plus b squared equal to a plus b times a plus b equal to a times a, a squared, a times b, a b, b times a, a b or b a, b times b b squared which equal to a squared ab plus ab 2ab plus b squared. Let me write the second and third identity and then I prove both of them. a cubed minus b cubed is what? Is a minus b. a squared plus ab plus b squared, this one. And third identity is a5 minus b5. This is correct for any n. You say a minus b, and here it is 5, you start from 1 minus 5 minus 1. A4 plus, you decrease the power A cubed B plus. Decrease the power of A by 1, increase the power of B by 1. B squared, gain A, B cubed plus B to the 4. And you can write it for general N because for this video we only need 3 and 5. I've written only for 3 and 5, but you can write it for 4, 2, 3, 4. 5 and so on. So let's prove these two parts. The proof of 2 is what you say. Okay, let's consider right hand side a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. I want to reach from right hand side to left hand side. So if I multiply a by these things, the first line a times a squared, a cubed, a times ab a squared b, a times b squared, a b squared. Second line, you multiply negative b by this. Negative a squared b, let me write like this, negative a squared b, negative b times this, negative a b squared, negative b times b squared, negative b cubed. You can cancel this too, these two, it will be what? a cubed minus b cubed. Proving third identity or in general, a n minus b n is exactly like this. So if I want to prove this again, right hand side equal to what? a minus b a four plus a cubed b plus a squared b squared plus a b cubed plus b to the four equal to what? We multiply a by these things, a times a4, a to the 5, plus a, 4, b, the next one, a cubed, b squared, the next one, a squared, b cubed, and last one, a, b4. Now, let's multiply negative b by this. It will be negative a4, b, negative a cubed, b squared. This one, a squared, b cubed, this one, negative a, b to the 4, and last one, negative b to the 5. So let me write with red. We cancel these two terms, these two terms, these two terms, plus minus these two terms, and it will be what? a5 minus b to the 5, which will be exactly left-hand side. So we prove this. Let's solve the problem. Okay. Let's solve third one first here x cubed minus y cubed. So here I know what? I know x cubed minus y cubed. 
was what from the identity I told you in the beginning of the video, it will be x minus y x squared plus x y plus y squared. So here, if I want to use this, x minus y is good. It's for x squared plus y squared also is good. Five. So it will be four times five plus x y. Now. Here, I want to find x, y. I know x minus y equal to 4. If I raise to the power of 2, I told you from first identity in the beginning of the video, if I raise it to the power of 2, a is x, b is negative y. So x minus y squared equal to 4 squared. So it will be what? x squared plus 2 times x times negative y, negative 2xy plus y squared equal to 4 squared, which is 16. x squared plus y squared is what? 5. So we can say 5 minus 2xy equal to here 16. And then we take negative 2xy to right hand side and 16 to left hand side. It will be 5. When you change or take something to other side, opposite side, the sign will change. Negative 2xy, it will be 2xy. So here, it will be negative 11 equal to 2xy. So we can conclude xy is negative 11 over 2. Now here, if we replace, it will be 4 times 5, negative 11 over 2. And it will be what? 4 times 5, 20. 4 times negative 11 over 2, 4, 2, 2. It will be 2 times 11, which is 22. So 20 minus 22 is negative 2. x, y can be any number, complex numbers also. So here we found it is negative 2. It was PMO problem. Now we want to solve this problem for ourselves. x5 minus y to the 5. And also for yourself, you can find x7 to the minus y7 or x to the power of odd number. For example, 2n plus 1 minus y. 2n plus 1 and generalize with this idea. We want to use the identity I told you in the beginning of the video. The identity, third identity I, I told you it was this. So if you replace, it will be x minus y, x to the 4 plus x cubed y plus x squared y squared plus x y cubed plus y to the 4. x minus y is what? Is 4. And you consider x4, y4, this and this and this one. We can find it because we found x, y was what? Negative 11 over 2. So this part will be what? Negative 11 over 2. x, y is this squared. Okay, so let's consider. It will be what? 4 times x4 plus y4. I write it first. Then x cubed y plus x, y cubed, double lines, plus negative 11 squared, let me write like this, negative 11 halves squared. Now, let's calculate. I can say it is 4, x4 four plus y4, y to the 4 here. If we factor for these two terms from x, y, it will be x squared plus y squared, plus 121 over 4. So here we know x, y is what? Negative 11 over 2. We've reached x squared plus y squared. We know is 5. So let's replace here 5. So the only thing that we need for solving this problem is to find x4 plus y4. So let me write it is 4 x4 plus y4. And then it is negative 55. 5 times negative 11 over 2 over 2 plus 1 to 1 over 4. So let's calculate x4 plus y4. From assumption of the problem, we know what? We know x squared plus y squared equal to 5. And from the first identity in the beginning of the video, I told you this. Now I raise both sides to the power of 2. It will be x squared plus y squared squared equal to 5 squared. So if you use this, the first one squared x to the 4 plus 2 times x squared y squared plus the second one y to the 4 equal to 5 squared 25. So 
Here we can say, okay, x4 plus y4 plus 2xy is what we've reached. It is negative 11 over 2 squared equal to 25. So we've reached x4 plus y4 equal to 25. Uh -huh. Let's calculate this at first. Because it is negative 1 squared, negative will be canceled. It is 4, 2 here. It will be 2, 121 equal to 20. 5. Now, here, we want to consider this, we replace, we say, okay, x4 plus y4 equal to 25. We subtract 1 to 1 over 2 from both sides, 1 to 1 over 2. So, it will be what? If you use common denominator, it will be 250 minus 1 to 1. And if you want to calculate this, it will be negative 71 over 2. So, we've reached this now we want to solve this problem. Let's copy and paste this. Okay, it is what? It is 4 times x4 plus y4 is negative 71 over 2, negative 55 over 2, plus 1 to 1 over 4. So it will be what? 4 times. It is 2, negative 71, 55 will be what? 5 plus 1, 6, 5 plus 7, 12. 1 to 6 plus 1 to 1 over Four. Now, if we multiply 4, it will be 2 times 1, negative 1 to 6, plus 1 to 1. So it will be negative 2, 6, 12. We have 1, 2, 2, 4, 1, 5, 2, 1, 2, plus 1, 2, 1. It will be negative. It is 2 minus 1, 1, 5 minus 2, 3, and 2, 3, 1. Here, sorry, it is uh, negative. Because 2 minus 1 is 1. So it will be negative 131. Okay, as I said, you can calculate, for example, x7 minus y7, uh, y to 7 below this video, or 9, 11. You can also generalize this. You can use my other videos and other playlists Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Math Tournament, HMMT, SMT. To improve your problem solving, thanks for watching this video and thanks for subscribing, turning on notification, and like my videos.